So we're here at Atmel, and who are you? Hi, my name is Rob Vallotton. I'm the uh, Vice President and General Manager of our Automotive Group. So you're showing something interesting here. What is going on here? Yeah, this is our event car demo. This is using all Atmel technologies to demonstrate how the next uh, center stack of a car is going to be looking to uh, in the future. So it's taking, a, uh, taking what you would call a concept car, but these are using in-production devices today. So this could be manufactured today. But are those, uh, is this a mock-up or is it, it, does it work? No, this completely works. So this is actually using, number one you'll notice is that there are no knobs, no wheels, no sliders, no buttons, nothing on this console itself. But how do you have a curved display? So we use it, this is using Xsense technology from Atmel. It's using a metal mesh technology over a film that allows you to bend it and have these curved features. Typical tablets are flat, cell phones are flat, it's because the typical touch sensors that are used are very brittle and they can't bend. So it's so not ITO? It's not ITO, this is a metal mesh. And it's a, is it plastic kind of, uh, it's not glass? So this particular demo is with plastic, but it can be done with glass. In fact, the only reason it's not done with glass is one of our partners couldn't get it to us fast enough. But plastic is better, no? Uh, not necessarily, so as you can see in here, there's an air gap. With glass, we can actually put the LCD directly up right against it as you would your PC computer or your tablet computer. It'll be more along those lines. Does it work? It does. This touch? Yep, there you go. See, the lights just turned on, the music just turned on. Here, there you go. Yeah. Uh, another interesting aspect is the phone. If you look, we actually have a phone. This is a real phone sitting in a dock using Silicon Image MHL technology. It's both charging the phone and it's taking the image that's on the phone and projecting it up into this area here. So I can control the phone from here, as you would normally. If you can see that we're doing that. We just have some apps up there that I want to show. Or I could also be doing it down here if I wanted to, where the phone is moving and the apps are moving up here. So you have a syn synchronized interface. Nice. And there's no, there's no lag, it's just cable. Yep. And it's charging the phone at the same time. Correct. So you do metal mesh. Yes. You do... Uh, uh, transparent uh, yes, conductor. Yes, we actually do. Yeah, yeah, we're known as a semiconductor company, but we actually do have a business called our Xsense product line, and we actually manufacture the full metal mesh. How much of that do you do? Is it like uh, early prototypes, or is it all no, on the market? No, we actually have it in production. It's in several uh, tablets and PCs in the market today. It is not in any production vehicles today because they're still going through the qual process. It's actually a little bit early for that, for an automotive application. So there's stuff going on up here. What's going on around here? So in here, so we show, just quick tips, and showing again that you can use excuse me, using Q-Touch and Max Touch on a curved display. Here we have our LED lighting, so you can, many vehicles in the future, you want to be able to personalize your colors of your vehicles, so if you can see. It's going from the blue to green to yellow. I can pick any color that I want along the spectrum and stop depending on who the user is. Okay. We there's also where you can have some proximity. Let's see if I can get, get that one working. Where you can see where the, the hand can come in and it can differentiate. I'm actually not doing it correctly, but you can differentiate if the if the hand is coming in from the passenger seat or if it's coming in from the driver's seat. So it's so lots of uh, sensing going on here. Correct. And uh, what does Atmel do in here? Like the, the, where are you? So we have so we have multiple products. So we have a we have the LED lighting. On the sensing side, we do have as we said we talked about the metal mesh. But once the metal mesh here, the X Y coordinates, we have the Q Touch sensor itself, the processor. We have so that would be Max Touch on here. Q Touch on button slider wheels. We have that. We have Ethernet AVB, as you turn on the audio and you're streaming the audio, you can do that over Ethernet now. And uh, as well as it in our Linux CAN transceiver products, and security. So yeah, there's lots of Atmel processors in the car. That's correct. In full, on cars that are on the market now and in the future, there's even more. Oh yes, absolutely. Yes, we are, uh, automotive is about 15 to 20% of the business of Atmel today, and it's uh, one of the faster growing businesses that we have.